homemade goodies, but these garamshes, delicious, juicy, amazing, tasty, spicy tours. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, my baby, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble dating, marriage. Let's take a look at Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in your person. Please show me angels. Oh, what is happening for Taurus and your little bit bill? Mad little bit bit. <clears throat> So we had a bit of a psychopath yesterday, and I feel like it might be the same person. Taurus, you have somebody who really regrets walking away from you. They're in this energy now. like It's almost like they feel like, well, the door is shut on this because like I made my decision. I walked away. I did that. And now it's really awkward to change their mind. For some of you, the separation has been going on for eight uh, days, eight hours, eight weeks, eight months. Or something happened in the eighth month of the year. It doesn't have to be, but that's kind of the energy that's coming through. Number eight, um, you do have someone who had instant in, an immediate regret when it comes to uh, rejecting this love. Um, but they have also have a lot of pride. They're very unbending energy. There's something very cold about them. You have the King of Swords, you know, King of Swords, somebody who doesn't bend for anyone else. You know, it is a bit of a psychopathic energy sometimes. Let's see what happened here in the past to make the situation so. Also, Taurus, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Left Hero. And if you are a returning blue angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. Taurus, you know I love you so much because I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising, and you are my opposite sign. But we are like light and day. We are the two pillars of love, you know? You represent life. You represent the body and scribble represents death and the soul and transformation so together we make the love making make sense to the people of the earth all right let's just say that alien by the way speaking of earth alien in the background he's sleeping okay very limp and lifeless story of mommy's love life i'm going to tell you that okay i'm <laughs> just kidding <clears throat> no i'm not kidding mm -mm. The Nine of Pentacles, uh, your person has some kind of an issue, you know, when it comes to commitment, issues with commitment, issues with trusting another person with the, their soul, like their love. They're afraid of love. This person has been single for a long time. When they met you, they, uh, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, like a new connection. This person had been single for a while. They tend to be a lone wolf. They really guard their privacy and their, their you know, their, their sanctum, you know, their self, their life, uh, maybe their business too they could be a business person they are afraid of letting other people in they've been burnt burnt in the past this is why they're so cold and aloof this little psychopathic energy because you know they've been hurt before and they don't want to be hurt again so they came in all suspicious they came in all weird and you know you didn't see the red flags in the beginning because you're such a scrumptious generous little gorgeous boo boo that you were just had so much love and passion for this person look at yourself you know queen of wands here Mm, can queen anyone between generous totally arbitrary but you had so much love to give and you were so passionate and so like let's do it you know you were up for anything and this person was like mm, you know maybe like showing you a side of themselves that was carefree and scrumptious and all about love but deep inside they were always you know feeling like i'm going like i'm going to sabotage this you know like deep inside they're like i'm going to sabotage this i'm going to Mm, ruin this for myself. I'm going to betray Taurus in some kind of a way. Mm, it's nothing about you. It's just them. You know, that's what they do when it comes to love, baby. And uh, the seven of pentacles, a lot of assessing, a lot of sizing you up, a lot of that action. Um, this person is afraid to feel with their heart or with their stomach, you know, um, Feelings come from the stomach, baby, um, for, from from the heart chakra too, obviously. But you know, feelings are in the stomach, and this person is just not connected to their stomach at all. They um, they have a lot of like charming ways around them too, or about them. You know, they're very charming, flowery language. They know how to talk. They know how to romance. But really, when it comes to that gut wrenching feeling of love, that you know, soul connection, love, that even the love making side of it, they they were lacking a bit of sensuality, um, a little bit of like mm, beautifulness. They were lacking, um, just lacking something. You're lacking something. It's, it's closed off to them. Their gut is closed off to them. They could have stomach issues too. Maybe that might resonate for someone. Mm, <clears throat> there were problems with communication try to play games, leave you on red, all of that is here for sure. And you were like, well, okay, what do you want me to do? 
person, you know, wanted to feel more, it's almost like they wanted to play a game with you, get the upper hand and have you beg for it. But Taurus doesn't beg because Taurus is unmovable. You belong to the goddess, my baby. Taurus, the bull belongs to the goddess. So, mm, you know, Serena's like, move for me, Taurus. And her's like, no. <laughs> I think you really tried to make it work too because this person... There is something very beautiful about you. It's almost like you felt, and they felt it too, like they met their counterpart or their equal. I see that here for sure. But at the same time, it was just so much hard work. And in the end, this person ghosted and disappeared or left a connection here because they knew, they always knew they would because they they were just so scared of love and they were always going to sabotage it. So there's nothing you could have done about it, Taurus baby. <clears throat> if it was a more established connection, this is somebody who, could have been married to for 20 years but you were basically leading separate lives and you always had that passion for this person you always had the passion for the commitment because Taurus when you commit to something you commit for life forever just like the Scorpio okay we are like the night uh, always comes down and the day always rises that's what we are that's what we represent night and day and this person just was living like almost like a separate life um I don't think it's be like in, in like you know a sexual way that they were like mm -mm. You know, it's, it's not a cheater, but it is someone who, like, doesn't consult you on things, just does does whatever they want, you know, like, plans, like, a trip without you. They're, like, married, and, like, they go and plan a trip with, like, their friends and don't inform you, like, you're the last one to find out. They don't invite you to do things. Very much like a lone wolf, a bit of a serial killer energy here. You know, they did a lot of things by themselves. They needed a lot of time alone, a lot of assessing. Could be dealing with a Virgo. A lot of assessing here, you know, a lot of assessment. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be the case. Could have been a workaholic as well. Really neglected you when it comes to the passion. Even in the bedroom, I feel like this person didn't like scrumptiously love you. Like how you deserve to be loved, baby. You know, they just didn't, they really neglected you. Um, they do see you as the chariot. So they do see as, they do see you as someone that it was difficult to control. Overall, it was difficult to play you, difficult to control you, difficult to ride you even. Mm, Knight of Pentacles, very slow moving energy, but this is someone who is uh, getting their apology together. <sighs> I wouldn't expect anything for a while. They need to heal first. The Four of Swords. They are getting their apology together, but they need at least another month or um, four hours, four days, or four weeks. You know, yeah, a month. <laughs> they need. I think they need about a month or more. You know, maybe four months for some of you, depending on you know how long the separation has been going to do the right thing the king of swords is coming back but you know are they coming back changed this is this is a question for you Taurus. also obviously never wait for someone but they will be reaching out but i feel like they're they're coming up with an apology but they're almost reaching out on the same energy you know how much ha mm, the question for you when they come in if you want to if you want to consider them is how much has this person gone into their feelings how much can they contribute to you now how much can they worship you now this queen, king, anyone between of wands needs to be worshipped. So how are they worshipping? That is the question, baby. You know your story best. Always, uh, Taurus, remember, it's all about free will on this channel. Never wait. you got so many options. You're scrumptious. You're amazing. You're on fire. This, you know, this little baby was on fire fire people want that one this is the one this is that character in the deck that everybody wants them so just saying all right Taurus, this is what i have for you today let me know in the comments below if this is your story also if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings why not subscribe turn on the notification button and of course i like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on youtube and if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Also, I have a sale, Valentine's Day sale for love spells. If you want to purchase a love spell in the pin, um, I got the offer in the pinned comment. Everything is 10% off until February 14th, until Valentine's Day. Uh, so there you go, my baby Taurus. Um, I love you, my boo boo. Stay scrumptious, stay gorgeous, stay sparkly, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. One more kiss.